Hi, YouTube. Um, I'm a little bit quiet today. Quiet. So, one. Quiet. Um, that also means peace. So, peace, quiet. Do it twice. Yeah, so. Anyways, um, I'm a little bit quiet today. Um, I'm doing something that my counselor said that I should do. Um, I'm feeling really depressed right now. I'm really sad. Um, I was doing really well um, until yesterday. Um, I hadn't thought about killing myself all week, and I was very proud. I was happy, and now I'm not. Um, for reasons that we'll leave out of this video. Suffice it to say, I'm very worried about my housing situation, that's all. Um, that said, um, my counselor told me that whenever I feel sad, or I think about kill killing myself, I should make a video. This is technically a video. I should make a video. And so, that's why I'm here. Um, I have an overwhelming er feeling that my entire future is just hanging on the edge of a, of a razor blade, and one wrong move can teeter it over into oblivion. Uh, uh, what is the saying? Uh, give me one second. Sorry. Trying to charge my phone and keep saying that the accessory is not acceptable. Um, la perte du vide. Um, the call of the void. Um, that's, that's what I feel like I'm looking at right now. I'm looking over the edge and just looking at the void. And, um, it's scary. My entire future is scary. Um, lens crafters. That's where I got my glasses. They're green. They're our money, our money exchange. Ask how to pick them out. Because I couldn't pick out my own glasses without his input, and he had to be pleased with them. Anyways, um, so... I don't feel the best right now. We'll go with that. A lot of things are not working in my life. I've become really listless. And I think that we should look up a definition for listless, real quick. Um, definition, listless. We're going to do this, because, you know, listless, of a person or their manner, lacking energy or enthusiasm. That's how I feel right now. I don't have any enthusiasm for life. I, I've thought about suicide probably 12 times between yesterday and today. Eight times yesterday and four times today. Um... I've thought about jumping out into the harbor and just drowning, or taking my entire bottle of pills in one go. <sighs> that said, I know that I can't do that because I would... You know, it's, it's, so, it's wrong to say that. It's wrong to say that I would upset people. That shouldn't be a reason to live. It shouldn't be. I should live because I want to live. I have too many things in the future that I need to get done. I need to, I need to fix America. America, which is an overwhelming task that just adds to the to the looming void. You know, just, uh, just, yeah. just think black down here, and I'm like sitting right here, just like, uh, that looks bad. So today we're gonna go ahead and go through a we're gonna go through my Facebook. We're, we're gonna go. We're gonna see what kind of news articles we have. My friend Tom, he posted this amazing story about how his ex and wanted to do a three-way, and um, his ex got upset because he was enjoying it too much, and he tried to punch him. Like, domestic violence is not cool, guys. It's not. Let's let's, let's not do that. Um, uh, apparently. Saturday Night Live skewered both Pepsi and United in one in one skit. That's awesome. Um, 
There's a Cleveland man that's currently on the run for murdering somebody over Facebook Live. Congratulations, Facebook. You're now a forum for death. Um, my friend John Pierce looks amazing, as usual. Let's see. I don't care. I don't care about these pictures of men. That is a lot of jelly beans, sir. <laughs> Snoop Dogg once dressed up as the Easter Bunny. Happy Easter, Easter, Easter isle, my nizzle. <laughs> I like that. Um, um, there's some fucking baby boomer complaining about how. Wendy's is putting in a thousand kiosks for to order and or they're putting in kiosks in a thousand of their stores to order food, uh, thus taking away jobs. Um, and this fucking baby boomer was like, you know what? I don't give a shit. If I don't have to pay, you know, fifteen bucks to some snotty nosed brat to take my order wrong, I was like, you know what? You're part of the problem. You are part of the problem because you don't see that in order for people to give money into the economy, they have to get money first by working a demeaning job. It is demeaning. I've worked fast food in three different places. I've worked two pizza places and then Subway. And those jobs are demeaning. They are... They don't have health insurance, first of all, especially for part-time workers. Uh, the full-time workers, they have the option, but it's so expensive that they choose not to buy it. <clears throat> um, they're just better off, you know, getting on basically government, you know, Medicaid. <clears throat> That's how it is with, um... Okay, I don't mind that Hawkeye. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my God. Um, oh, yep, yeah, nope, he is, and he is... He does not allow friend quests. That's fine. Um... But, yeah, no, um... Uh, yeah, no, I, uh... Automation will kill the industry. It will kill our entire economy, as Americans, it will. Uh, and we are all about automation. Automation. We, we, we find it to be spectacular. We think that, oh, Jesus, hell, there's, there's a video of a man, or of a person at a hotel who's greeted by a robot in Japan. And then another robot comes to their room with their food, their with their with the food that they ordered for for room service, and actually you know says you know thank you for 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 you know putting up with us and shit. And it's just like Lady Gaga released a new single called The Cure. I haven't listened to it yet. I really want to. I'm just too lazy to do it, and that's probably due to my depression, um, my suicidal tendencies. That's what they're called, suicidal tendencies. Who came up with that phrase? Just say you want to kill yourself. Don't, like, be truthful about it. Um, apparently U.S. churches are now costing taxpayers $71 billion a year, which is just great because the government has to subsidize any and all churches under the current uh, ruling, um, which I believe wholly in the separation of church and state, which includes funding you should have to raise your own money for your own parish. Uh... Oh, this teenager in Phoenix. She fucking schooled their fucking senator, Jeff Flake. Jeff Flake is... He's a flake. We'll go with that. I mean, it's in his name. But she just, like... She's a Native American woman. She's 16. And she went before him and said, You know what? As a female who depends on Title X, and Title X is is essentially uh, Planned Parenthood, um, who who depends on them for you know uh, breast cancer screenings, uh, uh, contraceptives, um, if need be, an abortion. She hasn't had an abortion. She's 16. She's. Just, I know a lot of 16 year olds are out there right now are having a lot of sex. Stop, stop right now. Get protection. Get condoms. Don't don't do it without condoms at least. Um, damn. 
<laughs> but, um... I mean, just everything. Everything in our society is depressing. Communism sucks. Um, so socialism is probably one of the best bets. Uh, but... <clears throat> Capitalism is the worst. It is. Capitalism is horrendous. It's causing a lot of people to be homeless, which I'm about to be as well. Um, so it's fun. And uh, it's difficult to find a job these days, unfortunately. Um, so, Jesus Christ, what army do you work for, dude? You're wearing nothing. Um, Arizonans are still trying to tout their, their state as the most beautiful in all the states. Fuck no, it's a desert, it's a pile of shit, it's, it's a cat litter box, it's a giant cat litter box, full of meth heads. That's, that's not beautiful, it's not. Um... Lady was kicked out of Petco for being black. That's that's amazing. You know, racism is alive and kicking today. I mean, we may have had desegregation back in the 1950s. We may have had uh, uh, we may have given freedom to to any and all slaves uh, in the past during the 19 or 1800s. Um, but we still hate each other based on the color of our skin. That needs to stop. Um, apparently the remains of five lost archbishops of Canterbury were found. That's amazing. Um, this is what I normally do. I, I don't actually go into the stories and read them because, quite frankly, usually they give the the most amount of information in the title. That's, that's, that's what I was taught when I was in a newspaper class in high school, is that you need to grab the reader's attention by giving a good title, something that summarizes the entire story in a few short words. Um, um, apparently, the Phoenix New Times uh, put up this, this bulletin and says, Why HIV is increasing in Arizona? Well, because most of the people there don't use protection. Or maybe it's the fact that you have ass backwards um, sex education classes that basically it's that whole, you know, religion is usually isn't brought into it in public schools, but um, it's usually, you know, the scare tactic, you know, if you, if you want these, go ahead and have sex, have unprotected sex, but God forbid that you teach us how to, how to put a condom on. You know, you see that all the time in the movies. You see people, you know, putting a condom onto, onto a banana. And you're like, I never got that. I, nobody ever did that with me. Nobody ever said, here's how you use a condom. I mean, it's pretty straightforward how to use it, but still, still... I know, I'm, I have this... That's interesting. There's a game out for iOS and Android, and it's... You build your own pot farm. That's that's actually kind of cool. That's crazy. All the characters in Hey Arnold represented different mental illnesses. I can actually see that Helga was possessive of um, Arnold. Nineteen discontinued fast food sauces that were better than drugs. That I understand. April the giraffe's bouncing baby boy is already taller than most people, and we can't look away. That's right, she finally gave birth. Congratulations, April. You have a bouncing baby boy. Four legs, one long, long neck.
Some guy's going up the Appalachian Trail. He's just hiking all of it, apparently, and he's eating a lot to do so. Uh, Russia currently has concentration camps for gays. I mean, we've gone over that kind of um, in the previous video. Um, hello, sir. Oh, my goodness. Um, peeps are still rated the number one least liked candy in the world at this point. Above or below black licorice. Like, black licorice is pretty abhorrent, but peeps are even worse. I will eat black licorice over a peep any other day. Um... Pillsbury just debuted their own cinnamon sugar churro bites, and they look amazing, according to the article. They look amazing. Yes, my thoughts kill me. Thank you, Facebook. Mm. Nobody can write a heart, honey. Uh, steak fajita rolls. How to make a steak fajita roll? A gay man outed a transgender man, a transgender man, um, on Survivor, and he's lost his job for it. I want to kind of weigh in on this. Coming out is a process that is all your own. I'm ashamed to call myself a gay man at this point. I've been ashamed to call myself a gay man for a long time. Um, especially after the breakup. Oh my god. Um, but... <clears throat> to see that somebody who is gay sit there and out somebody else when... You know, we, we all go through this. We all go through this coming out process. And for somebody who's had to go through it, to sit there and force someone else out of the closet, that's fucking ridiculous. You're a fucking idiot. You are, and I mean this in the worst possible way, you are a faggot at that point. It's like, I get hit up by, by straight guys all the time, and they're like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I, I just want to try stuff out. And I'm like, okay... I'm probably not the best person to do that with. I mean, I, yeah, I'm managing my, my HIV, so there's, like, 0% chance of me passing it on to you, but at the same time, if you want to do stuff, you're going to need to use a condom. And, um, and most of the time, they're okay with it. Um, and the ones who aren't, you know, I'm just like, fuck off. I don't care. Uh, I'm not here to be your experiment. Um, but you don't see me going around and saying, oh, look at this guy. He's totally gay. That's that's that, that's rude. That's that's rude beyond point. Point. This is rude beyond point. Beyond point. And it's it's just it's stupid. Especially you know when somebody sits there and says, you know what, I really don't want people knowing about this. I don't tell people. That's that's just that's just what happens because that's what you're supposed to do. If somebody's putting their trust in you. You need to continue to earn that trust. A new vegan bar is now donating its profits to causes defunded by Trump. So, current things that, have, that will be defunded by Trump by next year include arts, science programs, um, unless it's pharmaceuticals, of course. Um, he's giving a lot of kickback to pharmaceutical companies. Uh, because he is answering to the lobbyists. He's he's actually going back on his word about how he can't be bought. He he can't be. He can't be. This is why I'm running for president in 2024. I will not be bought. I will run for the people, by the people, with the people. That was disgusting. And yes, right now Big Pharma is the problem with American healthcare. Uh, I mean, look, look, look at it. I when I was living in Arizona, my neurologist kept trying out different drugs. She just did drug after drug after drug, and they all had negative side effects. One made me want to kill people. One made me want to kill myself. Another one made me so tired that I couldn't get up in the morning. I mean, the list goes on. And 
the moment that I went to her and said, you know what, I would really like to try weed because when I when I did weed when I was 20, I I was fine. And she looked at me and she said, I can't do that. I can't in good conscious, conscience prescribe weed. And, you know, it it's one of those moments where you're like, what the, why? Why? I know that it works for me and it doesn't have any negative side effects and it makes me happy. It actually kind of kills two birds with one stone. I'm not depressed when I'm high on weed. So why not why not just just do that? And she, you know, turns out that her entire medical facility had been bought out by Big Pharma. They were pushing drugs on them constantly. Hell, I remember one day I went into her office and there was a drug rep right there talking with her as I was walked back to my room. And I was like, "Really? This this is not bode well. This is not bode well for me." Um, that's why that's why I like where I'm at right now because out here in, in Washington, if you sit there and tell a doctor, you know what, this has worked for me in the past, they'll sit there and say, "Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it." Chip a corn on the cobra. <laughs> that's cute. Um, Lost City, City of Z. It's a new movie that's coming out, apparently. Uh, it features the, um, hello? Hello? Jesus Christ. Hector. Hi, Hector. Be my friend, please. He lives in West Hollywood, California. Of course he does. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. I can't. Battle.net was down earlier today. Um, they were doing maintenance for the entire system. So we're talking website, games, everything. And it was, it was actually kind of a relief. Uh, I want you to get Swifty too. I do. I want people to get Swifty. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, the Rick and Morty Swift posting... Like, I get, like, probably 30 different things in a row. Um, the mid-season finale of, uh, Foster The Fosters has ended. Um, I haven't been keeping up with that series, or Grey's Nat, or any of my shows, really, because I just, I don't have Hulu anymore. Um, very hot otter. Oh my god. Um, okay. Uh, it's actually a really good photo of Rick and Morty. It's a good drawing. <laughs> oh god. What are we gonna do tonight, Pink Pinky? A uh, brain? Same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. Um let me see. Jesus Christ, I'm looking for actual news articles, but none of them are showing any news. It's just fucking photos of everybody. Everybody having lives, unlike me. Holy Jesus, somebody actually programmed a machine to draw Rick and Morty on eggs for Easter. Um, uh, apparently in Boston... Uh, Shots were fired at the Revere Carnival outside the movie theater. Uh, that, um, that's pretty amazing. Hello, Otter. Oh my god. Sorry, I have to, I have to heart these. These hot guys. We do need that emoji. We need a, we need a, we need a Morty, you know, stupid face emoji. My back's starting to hurt again. It lasted about 24 hours, that massage. Um, come on, actual news. Let's go with news. Apparently Facebook, you have to, if you take a photo and it has your ass on it, you have to blur out the ass crack. Or cover it up somehow. Um, otherwise it will be taken down immediately. Which is just... It's a body. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, calm down. Uh, 
Jesus Christ, it's just... It's all these freaking Facebook groups that I'm part of, and it's just... It's just post after post from them, and it's normally just photos of guys. Oh, more guys. And there's Rick and Morty. So neuroscience can now curate music based on your brain waves, not on your musical tastes. So it can actually curate an entire library for you to listen to based on what your brain says that it needs. That's pretty cool, actually. That's, you know, music for me is a healing thing. It is. It's, it's very cathartic to listen to um, albums that speak to me. That's pretty good. So Tennessee has, has decided to make college free for adults over 24. Looks like I need to move to uh, Tennessee, honestly. Uh, you probably have to be living there for a year, though. Um, that's so sad. A guy was murdered on, on Facebook Live. Like, the guy just decided to shoot him and film it. Um. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go lay down here pretty soon because my back. Just <sighs> more pictures of guys. United apparently barred a man from taking his mobility device to on his honeymoon. They were he's a gay he's a gay man. Apparently his mobile device um, they wouldn't allow him to take it with him. Um, obviously on your honeymoon you want to be able to take a lot of photos, and they weren't going to allow him to take the phone. So um, this is actually something that needs to kind of be shouted from the rooftops. Uh, five reasons HIV undetectable must equal untransmittable. And actually, you know what, we're going to go into this. We're going to go into the article, we're going to read it out. Uh, we're going to read the headlines for each section, at least. Because this is so true. Um, nowadays, you know, you have a lot of guys that are like, oh, you have HIV, I can't, I can't sleep with you because, you know, you, you might give it to me. And it's like, actually, I can't. The science is solid. The partner study has recorded uh, 58,000 acts of penetrative sex without condoms between 1,000 positive negative couples in which the HIV positive partner had an undetectable viral load. There was no infections between the couples. Not a single one. Out of 58,000 fucks, not a single one of those fucks gave another person HIV because the person was untransmittable. They were, they were taking... They were taking medication and managing their HIV correctly. Major health experts are all are on board, but not all community leaders are. Public health leaders from the New York Department of Health to the National Institute of Health, NIH, have embraced these findings and its meaning to people with HIV, while community advocates and organizations have been reluctant to get on board, citing a theoretical risk of infection. So basically, the leaders, you know, so we're talking about like, in Phoenix, they have Ignite, Ignite Your Status. They are most likely of that same accord. They're probably sitting there saying, you know what, we're still going to say to use condoms because um, uh, we don't want to risk infection when science has already proven that infection is not possible. Um, this is about HIV, only HIV. Auxiliary issues often creep into this debate that may be well-meaning but only muddy, muddy the water, such as the fear that promoting the message of non-infectiousness will lead to more sexually transmitted infections, STIs, uh, because of the freedom it allows. See also critics of PrEP. Um, rates of STIs have actually gone down over the last decade, over the last two decades. Um, and this is due in part probably to more comprehensive sex education. A lot of schools um, in metropolises, metropolises um, tend to have more comprehensive sex education, meaning that um, I know like the state that I'm in right now, Washington, they actually give comprehensive sex education for both straight and gay and lesbian and asexual people. 
Um, this is a major victory for HIV criminalization reform. So in other words, you know, we made that video about, you know, states that have laws about HIV criminalization, meaning if you don't disclose your status to your sexual partner, you could go to jail. Um, this, you know, if you're undetectable, you shouldn't have to tell somebody that, hey, you know, I have HIV. Um, obviously, I tell people because I want to educate, but, you know, um, this will profoundly change how people with HIV view themselves. I... Let's go ahead and look up the statistic real quick. Um, let's see, statistics on suicide with HIV. Um, so, suicide rates, let me see, January 25th, 2010, that's when this article came out. Um, In 2008, suicide rates in HIV-infected individuals were more than three times higher than the rates of general population. So, um, suicide rates of general suicide rates of general population. An estimated 9.3 million adults um, reported having suicidal thoughts in the past year. So, think about three times that in the HIV community. You know, we're, we're living with a virus that basically outcasts us from society. Of course we think about death. Of course we think, I mean, we, we, we're constantly hounded by our mortality. Every time I take a pill, I remember that, you know, I'm going to die from this someday if we don't find a cure. One day it is, the pills are going to stop working and I'm going to end up shitting myself over and over again like, like they did back in the 1980s when this started out. I'm going to get scabs everywhere. I'm going to look horrible. It'll be cremation, trust me. I don't, I don't, I don't want an open casket. Fuck that. But yeah, so... We need to stop thinking that people who are undetectable are at risk for infecting others, because we're not. We're not. Um, I think that's all for today. Uh, last thing, um, last thing, there's, uh, realistic sex robots that promise to fulfill human desires. I highly doubt that. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and go, I'm gonna lie down, my back is killing me now. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Okay?